Hello, hello, I am Heather, AKA Planner Mumsy. Join me for an unboxing of a long awaited custom planner from Vanderspeck. Stay tuned. Okay, y'all, so this is literally week 17 that I have been waiting for this planner. Um, I know right now Vanderspeck said that they have a four week turnaround time but I clearly don't think that that applies to ostrich planners and that is what is in this container. So let's go ahead and get right into it. All right, I have already seen pictures of this so I know what to expect and I do already know something that I clearly super messed up but it is what it is. <laughs> so let's look at it. La! All right, so this is a Rosa full quill on the exterior ostrich planner, and it is super pretty color, you guys. Uh, let me see if I can, there we go. I was gonna say, let me get a little bit more light so you can see the color a little bit better. And I think that that depicts it pretty well. So talking about what I messed up, and this is what it is right here. Let's look at the inside. I went ahead and did a JL black, a Janet leather black interior with the pink contrast stitching. And then I did this one little strip of the Rosa on the inside. And I think that that will be fine, but I really should have made this whole entire clasp. I should have made the whole thing the Rosa. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to spray my planner to try and protect it from color transfer from the black to the pink. This was a really big oops on my part. And unfortunately, um, Vanderspeck doesn't they don't like recommend things <laughs> when you're doing customs, but you can see that it may not touch a lot, but as my planner gets bigger, you can see how like as it will get thick, it will rub, the black will rub on the pink, and there's a really good chance that that can turn into color transfer here. It's a very pale pink. It's super, super pretty. Softness wise, I think it's pretty standard for a full quill ostrich. I always do my B6s now in the same exact uh, size because I've found the size that works really well for me. There we go, that's better. Um, with with this like pink contrast. So definitely we'll be spraying this inside. But what I was saying was I do 310 millimeters wide open, open, you know, flat. This is an A4 clasp, so it is definitely thicker. And then I did do the big back pocket. I did the standard configuration here and the standard configuration on this side with the standard pen loop. I also did squared corners because those just happen to be some of my favorite customs that I do no matter what and everything. Basically, I, I try to save money by not doing a whole lot with the configuration on the pockets and um, just kind of keep to the standard slip pockets that come with the B6 codex. Let me get my current fat planner out. This is in the ostrich ivory. Let's just take that out for a second. And we'll put my fat, um, my fat common planner in here now. This does have the common planner plastic cover. I'm not 100% sure if this is going to fit because I did not heighten it, but let's see. It's not looking like it's going to. 
sometimes I feel like they make them on the bigger side and they'll fit. And then sometimes I feel like it's a no. And this one's definitely a no. So if you want to be able to have a plastic, oops, cover uncover in there, you're gonna have to heighten your book, your cover. But a, a standard B6 common planner will fit. And I'm just putting that in there now to show you. There we go. And you can see that, I mean, my book is really chunky. <laughs> so it's, and I didn't put the front cover in. This is just with the back cover in. But super, this is why I make my covers big. Because my planners get chunky like me. <laughs> Let's put a skinny one in there. I had just kind of put this in here because I was planning on using this one for this half year. And <clears throat> this half year won't actually get all that big. Oh, that's kind of funny. There it goes. I was gonna say, what? Why is that not fitting? <laughs> I just kind of had it in weird. So I have the common planner half year. I haven't actually started putting anything in there yet. I am going to be using this for tracking stuff for my husband's business. And I was using a Hobonichi Weeks, but y'all, I'm just, I'm over the Hobonichi Weeks size right now. And let's actually do, this one is a stronger front cover because it's the the newer ASIC uh, the newer common planners with the more thick um, covers for them let's I'm gonna have to do this out of frame for a second guys sorry it's kind of hard to get these in here and be in frame there we go okay and you do have to really maneuver it a little. Still not quite. I always just kind of do it and look at how the, um, the cover itself is laying. So for now, I'll probably be somewhat safe as far as color transfer goes, I think because I'm just, I'm going to be using this really skinny planner in here for now. And this is not going to bulk up because it's literally just going to be penned and um, words, <laughs> etc. But I will be putting the specs in the description down below if you guys are interested in this size. It is essentially the same size as a Jillio. And I will just show you really quick. That's basically what I modeled my sizes after. It is not quite as tall as the Gilio, but again, um, it, it's just one of those things that, you know, you're talking, especially with the ostrich, it's probably an extra 75 euros to heighten by five or six millimeters. Um, and so heightening it by that little bit is pretty costly. So I don't usually heighten it, but I do keep the um, width of the planners exactly the same. And yeah, you can just kind of kind of see. Now the, the straps in the A4 size are chunkier than the straps on the Gilio. The Gilios are generally more of like an A5 strap. So you can see the difference in the size there. But that is it. I just wanted to come on here and show you guys this really quick. I get to add this to my ostrich collection. I'm super happy about it. I have one last custom coming in that is already on week seven, I think. I'm on week seven and it's still only supposed to be a four week wait. So that's not happening and it's not ostrich. So hopefully that one comes soon. 
I know some people get tired of unboxings and I don't blame you, but I definitely like to share stuff that I got that's super special and this is definitely one of those things. So thank you guys for watching. Like and subscribe and I will see y'all in the next video. Bye!